Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're preparing for a Power Apps interview and want to boost your chances of landing that dream job, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into some of the most common and important Power Apps interview questions you'll come across, and I'll be sharing expert tips on how to answer them with confidence. Whether you're a beginner or already familiar with Power Apps, stay tuned because this video will give you the insights you need to ace your interview. Let's jump right in. Question 1. What is Power Apps, and how does it integrate with the Microsoft Power Platform? Answer, Power Apps is a suite of apps, services, and connectors, along with a data platform, Microsoft Dataverse, that allows users to build custom apps for their business needs. It integrates with a Microsoft Power Platform, including Power Automate, Power BI, and Power Virtual Agents, enabling users to automate workflows, create powerful business analytics, and build AI-driven virtual agents, all within one ecosystem. Question two, can you explain the difference between Canvas apps and model-driven apps? Answer Canvas apps provide full flexibility to design apps from scratch using a blank canvas. The design process is drag and drop, and you control the look and feel of the app. Model-driven apps are based on your data model in Dataverse. The layout is determined by the data structure and relationships, and they automatically generate responsive, UI-driven applications based on that data. Question 3. What are the different data sources that Power Apps can connect to? Answer Power Apps can connect to various data sources including Microsoft Dataverse, SharePoint, SQL Server, OneDrive, Excel, Dynamics 365, Third-party APIs through custom connectors Additionally, Power Apps can connect to over 400 data connectors, allowing for seamless integration with cloud and on-premises data. Question 4. What are common data services, CDS, in Power Apps, and how do they differ from Dataverse? Answer Common Data Service, CDS, was the former name for Microsoft Dataverse. It is a cloud-based data platform that stores and manages data used by business applications. Dataverse allows users to securely store and manage data used by Power Apps and other Power Platform tools. CDS was rebranded as Dataverse, but the functionality remains largely the same. Question 5. Explain the concept of delegation in Power Apps. Why is it important? Answer delegation in Power Apps refers to the process where data operations like filtering, sorting, and querying are passed down to the data source rather than being processed locally on the client device. It's important because without delegation, only the first 500 default limit records are retrieved and processed by Power Apps, leading to incomplete or incorrect data handling for large data sets. Using delegable functions ensures efficient performance and correct results from large data sources. Question 6. What are the security roles in Power Apps, and how do you manage them? Answer Power Apps security roles define what actions users can take on data, e.g. read, write, delete, and control access to apps, forms, and records. Security roles are managed in Microsoft Dataverse and can be customized for each user or group. You can assign predefined security roles, e.g. system administrator, environment maker, or create custom roles tailored to the specific needs of your app. Question 7. What is a gallery in Power Apps, and how can you use it to display data dynamically? Answer a gallery in Power Apps is a control used to display a list of records from a data source dynamically. You can customize each item's layout within the gallery to show text, images, or other elements. For example, you can use a gallery to display items from a SharePoint list or a SQL database and filter or sort the displayed items based on user input. 8. How do you use Power Apps to implement conditional formatting in your app? Answer. You can implement conditional formatting in Power Apps by using the if and switch functions in combination with control properties such as fill, color, or visible. For example, to change the color of a label based on a condition. If this item status equals complete, color green, color red. This will set the label color to green when the status is complete and red otherwise. Question 9. What is the patch function in Power Apps and when would you use it? Answer the patch function in Power Apps allows you to create, update, or modify records in a data source without using forms. It gives flexibility to update specific fields of a record or create new ones programmatically. 
This is particularly useful for targeted updates where you don't need to submit an entire form, such as changing a single field in a record. You can also use it to add new records by providing default values along with user inputs. The patch function is ideal for handling dynamic data changes and offers precise control over data manipulation. It's a key feature for efficiently managing data in Power Apps. 10. Explain how you can optimize the performance of Power Apps when working with large data sets. To optimize Power Apps performance, use delegable data operations filter, sort, to work on the server side. Limit the number of columns retrieved by using specific column names instead of star. Use collections to temporarily store and manipulate data locally. Minimize the number of controls and avoid unnecessary complex formulas in your app. Use concurrent function to run parallel operations. 11. What are Power Automate flows and how can you integrate them with Power Apps? Power Automate flows are workflows that automate repetitive tasks and processes. You can integrate Power Automate with Power Apps by triggering flows from buttons or events within an app. For example, a Power Automate flow can be used to send an email when a form is submitted in Power Apps or to move data between systems. 12. How do you handle version control and app deployment in Power Apps? Power Apps provides built-in version control, allowing you to track changes, revert to previous versions, and manage releases. Each time you save an app, a new version is created. You can share apps with users or move them across environments using solutions, which bundle apps, flows, and data components for deployment. 13. What are custom connectors in Power Apps, and when would you use them? Custom connectors allow you to connect Power Apps to any REST API, including third-party services, by defining a custom API connection. You would use a custom connector when the service or data source you want to connect to isn't available through the standard connectors provided by Power Apps. These questions touch upon key areas that demonstrate both foundational knowledge and practical experience with Power Apps. 14. How do you handle errors in Power Apps? Error handling in Power Apps can be done using the IF error function, which catches errors during execution. For example, if an operation fails, like a failed data submission, the IF error function can display a user-friendly message or trigger an alternative workflow. Additionally, Power Apps also has a built-in error function that returns information about errors that occur in controls or data sources. 15. How do you secure data in Power Apps? Power App Security relies heavily on Dataverse, Microsoft 365, and Azure Active Directory for identity management and role-based access control. To secure data, use environment roles and security groups to limit access. Implement Data Loss Prevention (DLP) policies to prevent sharing sensitive data across apps. In Dataverse, use role-based security to control who can view, edit, and share specific data. You can also apply conditional access to control app access based on user location or device. And that's a wrap on today's video. I hope these Power Apps interview questions and answers help you feel more confident and prepared for your next interview. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit too. Thank you.